this is my new cutting board and I will show you in next six minutes how I built it so first I cut in the same thickness several scrap wood for my workshop this one I think is beech this one is masaranduba again masaranduba this one I think was oak beech again and uh, this one I think it's pagoda tree I'm not sure about that before I start the glue up I've put this kitchen foil around four support pieces to prevent them from sticking to the cutting board next it was about spreading a lot of glue and then applying a lot of clamps Now the glue needs some time to dry out, then also the woodworker can have a break, it could be a coffee break. Let's have a look what it looks like after the break, when I removed the clamps, I was pleased what it looked like next I've used my jointer for several passes from each side I've used the sled for the final length of the cutting board. I will have total two cutting boards. I've marked the radius on each corner and then cut it on this one. Here I have sanded each corner to remove the benzo marks. To round the edges I will use the router table. Some hand sanding in addition, mainly at the corners area. As a last step, I have decided to carve a gear.
The very last step is to oil it. I've used the kitchen olive oil. I will see the difference. This is what it looks like in the kitchen. I have two cutting boards plus one tiny one. And this is uh, about one year ago when I did those two ones. One year usage, they still look fine. Thanks for watching.